Hello. I want to look at part of a verse of Galatians chapter 4. Part of a verse of Galatians chapter 4. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman. When the time was right, Jesus made the impact that he did because his father had previously prepared the world for his coming. Alfred Smith in his gospel song writes, With God things don't just happen. Everything by him is planned. How true. Now, the Jews had not heard from God for 400 years. They're known as the silent years. But things were now about to change. And it began when Alexander the Great of Greece crossed the Hellespont, uh, a four mile stretch of water, and took control of the Holy Land, which resulted in the spreading of Greek culture throughout the entire area. Later, when the Romans came along, they were sensible enough to adopt this Greek or Roman culture, as it is known. And although local languages, such as Aramaic and Hebrew uh, still existed, Greek became the language of the known world. The Hebrew scriptures were then translated into Greek by 70 Hebrew scholars, the Septuagint, in Alexandria. This was the Bible Jesus used. Now, back in the days when the Greeks ruled Israel, they built several stone strongholds. And the Romans picked up on this and built their own, thus populating the whole Mediterranean area with big cities in which 150 Jewish synagogues were also established and so we carry on. The Romans then encouraged free access throughout the empire. No passports, no visas were required <laughs> and to help them do it they built 250,000 miles of paved roads. Many of them are to be found in Britain today. Now, doing away with boundaries was just the job, for it made it easier for the apostles to travel from place to place preaching the word of God. The Romans also brought in something called the Pax Romana, meaning Roman peace which guaranteed safety for all travellers <laughs> and it gets better. <laughs> the gospel now in Greek was distributed throughout the known world via a very reliable Roman postal system and was immediately understood. It was during the reign of Emperor Caesar Augustus that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and 33 years later was crucified, declaring with his dying breath, it is finished. Yes, the fullness of time was now 
complete. <clears throat> and so today, through advanced technology, which is a gift of God, our world has unlimited access to the preaching of the gospel by simply pressing a button or turning on a switch. <clears throat> now, sight, sound and distance are no problem at all. The psalmist says, day unto day utter speech and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. Psalm 19 verses 2 and 4. You see, God knew what he was doing all along. And he still does. And it's because he did what he did, when he did, that perfect salvation through Jesus Christ is available to each one of us today. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 says, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. So then, let us take full advantage of the preparation and the provision that God has made in order to save our souls, acknowledging in our heart of hearts that for us it was all worthwhile. Just as I am, thy love unknown hath broken every barrier down. Now to be thine, yea, thine alone, O oh, Lamb of God, I come, wrote Charlotte Elliot. Oh, God bless you. Have you studied the provision of God? He's provided all things for you through Christ. Amen.